Good morning. Good morning, y'all. We are the AT men. We are back at another range. Now, this area might look familiar because we've been here before. This is uh, Stodard's in Atlanta. Um, I happened to be here. I went to Publix to get something to eat. And um, I was like, you know what? I have my guns. They have a range. We should come together and do something. So we're going to take it in there. We're going to, well, we already know. I, I like this range. It's pretty nice. Um, very luxurious. Um, yeah, it's up there on my list. And um, so we're going to get our stuff together. We're going to go in and we're going to make sure that we are good to go. And you guys are going to join me. You mean? Well, I mean, you guys are going to watch me. Uh, pause. You guys are going to join me. Let's just say that. Uh, we got better parking this time. Now, this parking spot, they have more over here. And they have some in the front. They have the electric parking right here. That's for electric cars. But we are going to be dealing with the side parking with the stairs that are a lot closer because I'm feeling kind of lazy. Even though those people in those buildings could probably see everything that I'm doing. But this is like in the middle of Atlanta. And like most major cities. I'm to mind their business here. So with that said, get my backpack on. We're gonna shoot, um, what's this? 22 long rifle. And you already know the EDC gets shot every day. Because, but we're not gonna go through like the nine. No, we're not gonna go through three magazines. We're probably only gonna shoot maybe one, two if you guys are good. But um, yeah, we're gonna be shooting the 22 long rifle, the pistol, the pistol that is, not the long gun. Uh, maybe tomorrow we'll bring out the long gun. You know how it is right here. I think we need a mask too. They're weird like that. Here, we need the mask though. Which is probably one of the lamer rules for this particular range because if you don't have a mask, they're gonna charge you around like a dollar for like this mask that I'm putting on my face right now. So, Let's take it in. All right, we got our face diaper on. Look at this dedication. Look at this. That's the little thing sometimes that just, I mean, we all know where the entrance is. You have to pass it. But sometimes it's just the little things in presentation that makes a shooting range a good range. They got a whole lock for the gate. This is the lounge area we've seen before. Face mask required to enter. I have better days. How are you? Yeah. Look at the range. Um, Creedmoor. And uh, 50 Biowolf? No. I was only go so much, but if you want to, you can. It's a 347. Too long rifle. And 9 millimeter. What's up, bro? I'm sure it's 22 long rifle. Yeah, I'm gonna go rest the ten hours over here. Actually, this one I'll do right here. All right, all right, be back. Real easy. 
I might end up going live too, B. DJ Flacco, man. Shout outs to that guy. Anyway, gotta got our ears on. Eyes and ears on. Before we hit this range. 22s ain't loud, but sometimes people be going in here busting off some 300 blackouts. It's crazy. We know we're gonna double up. Drop up twice whenever you come to the range, the indoor range. Yeah, we're gonna put on, uh... yeah, these are the best too, that them 32 decibels because this is good. See? See, as soon as you get in, though, you ain't got to do anything. As long as you got your, your information in the system, you take your ID, and you go straight to the range. Now, like we said before, you can't shoot. Ah, too deep. You can't shoot um, steel case ammunition, which is why it's good to punt on bring 22 whenever you go to the range, because most 22s are going to be um, brass. Peltor. Anyway, all right, we're good to go. We got our ears on, we got our eyes. We shooting 22, we ain't gonna get too hot. And we're gonna go through the process that you go through when you gotta enter this ring. They got that two door situation, which I kinda like. Cause there's no like ceasefire, ceasefire noise. And you have like a whole glass to see what's going on. Yeah. Still talking about the other Alright. Right. You only six. They got, this is how they visualize you. There ain't no range on, but you got a whole camera. Nice little face for that top, up top. A whole digital situation. It's like $15. So we're just gonna try to they're five feet. They're five feet at the other range. This is mighty far. Mighty far. This is five feet here, which is kind of normal. Their five feet had them looking like ten feet. Had me to bring it like ten feet. Why you so slow? Alright, that's better. That's better. Right. Yesterday we fired the uh, judge. But I'm gonna show you the spread on the, uh, the shot shells for the nine millimeter.
Now, nah, what you firing? That's from work. I have no idea. You don't know if you fire. They just give it to me. <laughs> I don't know if it's yours. No, that's not mine. That's it's mine. Oh, no, it's yours. You don't know what, you, what, what kind of caliper? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I really can't help you. I don't. I, bro, they gave it to me at work, man. I just shoot. I don't know if I'm going to be in the scoreboard. Alright, well, yo, I'm gonna get to the range. Alright. Got that stapler. All our targets below the line. Ten feet. I don't know what they were doing yesterday. With that said, let's get the out of the way.
seat. Drop the mag. I haven't cleaned this since I fired it yesterday. This is like 10, normal 10 feet. We're gonna go to the right and we're gonna be hitting go to the left, go to the right, I mean. Gotta fill your magazines before you come to the range, y'all. I like the material at the side too, you see? It's the same thing in the master gunman range. It doesn't really come off onto your weapons. It comes off in really big chunks. For the most part.
Are we still recording? Everything was basically on target. This was at, this was like 10. That was at like 25. Come on. Come on. Anyway, we got here, we fired our nine millimeter. We did the, um, our EDC. We did this all Smith & Wesson. Smith & Wesson Compact 2.0. MMP 22 and the MMP 1522. So, this is the EDC. Really, relatively good. This is the uh, 22. And this is all the MMP 1522. Alright? Alright, I'm gonna step out and then we're gonna talk to y'all when we uh, get back out. Sorry, yeah. get back outside. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you. I remember these. I didn't do the shot shell, so. At about five feet. I think it's like. Yeah, maybe 10 feet. We're gonna go for like corner. Well, all right. Ah. They're gonna hit the same target we was hitting at the top right, our top left.
Alright, let's see our damage. some damage pretty accurate as well so if you see some shot shells pick them up at least have one in your arsenal the wadding looks like hit right here but it's not power it's not too powerful all right it will rip through the uh, target so i think people want to always want to see what it do oh well, that's what it do that's how to do it too Alright. Alright, we just finished up the range. Um I was actually in there a lot longer than I wanted to be. If I'm being completely transparent with you. So uh, I think I went live on Instagram and I lost track of time. I actually went through more ammunition going live on Instagram than I did shooting, actually shooting any type of footage for this, right? So when you do that, you know, you start feeling some kind of way. You know, and this is another thing that they have here that a lot of gun ranges should try to invest in. Like as soon as you get out the range, you can like, like wash your hands I, told, I noticed that like some rings we go to uh, that they don't need that luxury so you come out there with um like lead on your fingers lead and gunpowder on your fingers that's kind of lame it's kind of lame so that view, right? When's the last time y'all seen Atlanta's view? I mean, you're trying to close the deal. This is the range you want to take people to. I, I am, I'm just saying. You know, that's why I was like, um, this is like a date night range. Like, if you're going on a date to a gun range, this is more idea than um, other ranges we visited. <laughs> the other ranges we visited. So, um, okay, what else can I say? Beautiful range. I love it. It's real clean, real nice. Um, the more I come here, the more I tend to like it. And $15, you see all that many is. You get a sink to wash your hands. As soon as you come out the range, you make a left, there's a sink there. This only at the Atlanta one. I don't know about the Douglasville one. We got to check that one out. Then, it's really easy to clean. Um, there's good lighting. There's not good lighting in the lanes, but, you know, um, we could improve that. We could improve that. Bring our own lamp. I don't know. Um, what else? Cool staff. Ultimately cool style. I mean, but they're, they're still at work, so I don't, I'm not gonna even put it on them to be like, like Barney and Friends type friendship friendly, but really good, good vibe there. And um, what else? Yeah, easy transition. Once you register with them once, the specific store, when you come in, all you do is take your ID and you go and you shoot. You don't gotta sign anything, you know. I like ranges that do that because sometimes you just wanna shoot and leave and then, um, like that's a luxury time is valuable and you can spend a lot of time in the range so why waste time whether that be 10 minutes or five minutes trying to fill out a form for uh to go shoot at the gun range there's a lot of cranes out here i didn't notice it before but you got one right here two right here all right, right two right here can you see it two right there i hope you can see it right there and then there's another one like right over here hopefully y'all was able to see it if not just take my word for it there are a lot of cranes here 
anyway, we're going to get in the road. We're going to head back to the house. Um, thank you for watching. Hit that like, hit that sub, and hit that notification. Turn that bell icon on because, you know, this is a two-way thing, so you know how they do with that.